Grey's Anatomy star Justin Chambers earned a prism this year for male performance in a drama series multi-episode storyline. For a storyline in which Dr. Alex Karev finally faces his father, who is drug addicted and deserted his family when Alex was just a child. I made such a mess of everything. The more time went by, the more drugs I did. The more I let myself forget because I couldn't stand myself, you know? You were just a happy kid. I guess I fixed that, huh? I think uh, I think Grace did a great job with that story. It, it definitely opened my eyes to to the ripple effect again of what um, alcohol and mental illness can do. Well, Any time that uh, that you're on drugs or drinking, you're not actually clear thinking clearly, and so the decision making is flawed. Um, relationships suffer. Damn. What about this other family? I mean, how'd you leave it with them? Better. I could maybe try and go back. Nomi's tough, but she's not your mother. She's not bug-eyed crazy. Right, who do you think took care of her? Kept track of her? Got her committed so she wouldn't hurt herself? You have to be able to communicate with people in order to reach your potential. Because we all need support systems. Who do you think took care of your kids? I did the best I could. Oh, well, if that, that's your best, then you should just hang it up. Your best is worthless. I was the dad! I was a kid, but I was the dad. You were nothing. You were gone. It's a great testament for Alex is that, you know, through facing adversity like that, you know, growing up in such a broken home, he was able to become someone productive in society and to give back and, you know, become a healer. Uh, thank you for this. Wow. Um, it's such an honor to, to receive this award because it's not just any award. It's an award that represents so much. Um, you know, I, I humbly accept this award on behalf of myself. Yay! I'm so happy to win something, but also for uh, the writers on Grey's Anatomy. It's because of their great storytelling that hopefully we are able to inspire and motivate and, and uh, educate people about the issues that are associated with mental illness and drug addiction. So thank you for this. I also share this with James Remar, who is an incredible actor and uh, makes, made me better. So thank you. This year, Oscar winner Julia Roberts took home the PRISM Award for performance in a feature film for her powerful turn as the daughter of a controlling matriarch who is addicted to pills, played by Meryl Streep. Here's Julia Roberts in August Osage County. Oh, okay. Okay. Pill raid. Remember this? Remember how it goes? You might be juggling with uh, codependence or, you know, enabling someone. So it's that fine line of knowing when, when to say, you know, you need to stop this. Search everything, every closet. On Grey's Anatomy last season, Chandra Wilson's character, Dr. Bailey, developed obsessive compulsive disorder after accidentally spreading a deadly infection to the hospital's patients. In return, Chandra earned her second prism, this time for female performance in a drama series multi-episode storyline. Before my accident, you called me a drunk. I'm so sorry. There has not been a day since that I haven't regretted. You're right. It was a surprise for our Grey's Anatomy audience to hear that Dr. Bailey could be struggling with obsessive compulsive disorder. And until you start to speak about that debilitating behavior, you don't realize that it is. Because I have a disease and it can't be cured, but it can be managed. Bailey was not uh, accepting that what she was going through was under an umbrella of mental illness at all. The recognition of it and the admission that something is going on is the first thing that has to happen. Accept that you have a disease, Bailey. Accept help. We're all here for you when you're ready to get started. She needs to undergo treatment for her OCD because you have people's lives in your hand. What I really like about Miranda Bailey's journey in Grey's Anatomy is that they really showed the struggle for her to accept treatment. I find that that is a big issue for a lot of people, is the moment where you have to, to accept and say the words that I need to get help. You know, with obsessive compulsive disorder, you know, it could start just really as slowly as just making sure 
And that's basically what she needed to do for a while. Just make sure, just make sure her hands are clean, make sure her instruments are in place, which progresses to make sure the keys are in the bag and just making sure and all of that making sure slowly but surely became debilitating to where you can't get out of the door. You can't finish surgery. You can't finish a thought because your head is still back in the other place. Um, I've seen that progress uh, many times with family members, with friends, and the next thing you know, you're not functional. Uh, Bailey's on meds right now. So, uh, I think the thing that I'm interested in going forward is when at, at times um, the, the disease becomes progressive and you have to re-examine those meds and you maybe have to go back to the beginning in order to figure out what you need because the manifestation comes in a different kind of way. So I really appreciate that journey. I appreciated it as an actor. I appreciate the show for um, allowing that in. 10 seasons in. <laughs> so um, thank you. Uh, yeah, I see you very much. Yeah. <laughs>